Salute omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as Martian Geek. I've recently beaten Paper Mario, actually. I know, I know, why am I doing that when I could be LPing? But whatever. Paper Mario is actually sort of a spiritual sequel to Super Mario RPG. But honestly, I would have preferred a real Super Mario RPG too, because Paper Mario was kind of a letdown after this game in my opinion. It was about three times as difficult as Super Mario RPG and three times as tedious. It, and it was difficult for all the wrong reasons, really. Namely, the fact that I felt really underleveled throughout pretty much the entire game. I mean, seriously, that game has to have the worst stinking leveling system. Ugh. And of course, the fact that you had a pathetically small inventory size in that game did not help matters. And beyond that, there's the fact that it just seemed to really fail to impress me, I guess. I mean, you know how good the graphics are in this game? How good the music is? Well, as good as the music is in this game, that's how forgettable it is in Paper Mario. Like, there were maybe two or three tunes that I... that were good, and the rest were just kind of there. Huff and Puff's boss battle theme, for example, was pretty good. And graphics? I mean, I don't play games for the graphics, but you'd think going from a 16-bit console to a 64-bit one, they'd have better graphics, not worse. I get what they were going for with the whole paper cutout thing, but... Meh. I don't know. If you like Super Mario RPG, you might as well try Paper Mario. But I'd recommend trying it before buying it. Also, don't play it on an emulator. Play it on a real Nintendo 64 if you can, because... I don't know if there are any Nintendo 64 emulators out there besides Project 64, but that was the one I used, and while I, it at least got me all the way through the game, which is more than I can say for, say, ZSNES on this game, blah, uh, there are graphical glitches up the wazoo. So, if you have epilepsy, yeah, don't. Just don't play it on Project 64. Apparently, Paper Mario is like one of the glitchiest games on that emulator. And it shows. But anyway, this is not Paper Mario, this is Super Mario RPG. And we are on Booster Pass, where there are apparently artichokes. And a Lakitu. And weird carrot enemies. Whoops. I wonder if I'll mess up the controls in this game after playing so much Paper Mario. Because you press A to attack in this game, and there isn't really a button on the Nintendo 64 controller that corresponds to A. Because apparently on the Nintendo 64 controller, the buttons called A and B are in the same place as the A and B buttons on an NES controller. That is, B is where Y would be on a Super Nintendo controller, and A is where B would be. I don't know why they didn't just keep the A and B buttons in the same place and then make what we know as X and A, the X and Y buttons. That would eliminate a lot of confusion. But whatever. Yes, we're fighting an artichoke. Another thing I didn't like about Paper Mario is that you could have only have one partner at a time. Like in this game, you have five different characters to play as, and you can have three of them on the field at once. And I wish you could have more than that. In Paper Mario, you have eight possible people to play as, and you only get to use two of them at once. Doesn't that just suck? There's also more of a difference between the characters in this game than in Paper Mario. Which is another thing I didn't like. Yeah, I guess I forgot to mention that in that game, there are certain enemies that you outright could not kill if you had the wrong combination of characters, or badges, or items. More penalty points. Ah, uh, why do you keep picking on Gino? Remember kids, eat your veggies, or at least shoot them!
I guess there are technically a couple of enemies in this game that you can't kill if you have the wrong attacks or if you're out of MP or whatever. But those are like few and far between and... Like I said with the Bowyer battle, you really have to be horribly underprepared. Under Do I have a... No, I don't. Also, there are no game-breaking attacks like Thunderbolt in that game. There are actually very, very few attacks that can hit everything on the screen, which kind of sucks. Okay, so Thunderbolt isn't exactly a game breaker. It's it's one of those weapons that aren't a game breaker but are really easy to abuse. Like Jewel Satellite in Mega Man 9. Probably take out the artichoke first, since it's tougher. The spiky guys are as weak as they look, really. Yeah, one damage. That would be significant in Paper Mario, where your maximum HP is 50, but in this game? Uh, no. Uh, what was I gonna check again? Oh yeah. Okay, so... I, whoops, what did I just... Um, that's not what I meant to do. Oh well. Freed up an inventory slot. Like I said, I'm probably gonna mess up my controls at least once after playing Paper Mario, where the controls are significantly different. Yeah, I could farm here from those spinies, but... I don't need to, really. That's the nice thing about this game, is you really don't have to farm much. In Paper Mario, you really wish you could farm, but you really can't, so... Picked up a flower. I'll give it to my girlfriend. Whoa, what? Huh. Sucks to be you, spiny... Uh, spinies. Or spikesters, I guess they are called. I don't know, I didn't see much of a point in calling enemies different things just because they're palette swapped. So that was it for Booster Pass. We'll be coming back there later, but... Now we move on to Booster Tower. Oh look, it's Bowser. Booster has such a nice place. I miss my fortress. I miss the good old days. Toad School screaming in terror. Mario rushing in to save her. Oh jeez, it's Mario! Oops. Okay, okay. Calm down. Don't let him see you like this. Hey, how have you been? No, not like that dummy. Wrong tone. It needs more confidence. You! What are you doing here? If Toadstool were out in my castle waiting to be rescued, she'd be crying like a baby. <laughs> oh? Did I just hear some voices? It couldn't be! I can't believe it! It's Mario! Mario! I'm up here! That voice! It's Toadstool! I thought she got away, but she's been stuck here! Mwahaha! <laughs> well, I guess I'll be returning to my castle now! my way, shorty. It's locked. What? You're still here? That look on your face. Mwahaha! I get it now. Out of my way, shorty. Yeah, I'm a piece of work, ain't I? All this power and looks too. I know, I know, you're thinking. A big strong guy like him would be great to have along, right? I'm gonna do something I may regret later. I'll let you join the Koopa Troop. 
You can thank me later. Mario and his friends have joined the Koopa Troop, or so they're pretending. Bowser joins the group. So yeah, now we get to fight with Bowser too. Would you like an explanation on how to switch allies? Now you are 4, but... Well, actually I'm 21, but okay. Fighting is limited to 3. Access switch now. These three will fight while their pals rest. Simply choose the two you wish to, wish to switch. Mario, Mario must always fight, though. Even when I wish... I really wish you could swap him out for another pre another character. It's the X button, not the pause button. I must remember that. Yeah, I think I'll I'll swap Gino out for Bowser. What the heck? So now we're in the lobby of Booster Tower. Where we find Sniffets. Hello there, Booster's busy right now, so he can't play. Come on some, uh, back some other time where you could try to force your way in. Hi, Sniffet. So Bowser's specialty is physical attacks, as you could probably guess. Although, just like any unarmed character, he can't do a whole lot of damage when unarmed. Just like any any other character, I mean. So yeah, there are a lot of Sniffets in Booster's Tower. This is an orb user, which has very low HP, and as far as I know, but you want to take those guys out because they have quite powerful magic. I think Bowser also has pretty high physical defense. And higher a higher max HP level than the other two. Or other four, I guess. Um Thunderbolt. Yeah, you probably want to take those guys out fairly early, too. Oh, well, hey! Ah, the difference a timed hit makes. Oh yeah, that was another problematic thing about playing Paper Mario on an emulator is certain attacks were a lot harder to um, pull off because of emulation glitches. Namely the ones where you had to hold down, hold down the A button and then release it at the right time. It was dang near impossible to time those correctly. Because the meter was supposed to fill, and because of the glitches, it, it wouldn't actually show as filling until you hit maximum. So you just kind of had to guess to figure out from the sound effects. Or have really good reflexes so you could attack as soon as the star at the end lit up. Now, you're supposed to remember what order these pictures go in. For later. Red hat guy, yellow hat guy, eye patch guy, guy, lo guy who looks like a monkey, guy with glasses, guy who looks more like Booster than anyone else. I'm probably going to forget that by the time it becomes relevant, but whatever. Okay, so apparently these guys have pretty high magical defense, or are outright immune to magical attacks.
Like I said, Paper Mario seems to want you to use magic attacks more often than, in, than this game does. But unfortunately, you can't use them as often as you could in this game. It's because you don't have access to as much MP. Which kind of sucks. What's the big rush? I'm Booster, and this is my favorite ta famous tower of amusement. Normally, I welcome visitors to play with me in my sniffets. However, a girl fell out of the sky and into my lap recently. Since then, I've been busy keeping her happy and entertained. I no longer have the time to play, so please enjoy yourself. At your own risk, that is. And we come to the top part, of the upper part of the tower. I don't know what voice to use for Booster, so I'm just not even going to bother. Flower tab. Always helpful. Ah, full party target attacks that require low MP. How I missed you! Look at that. I'm not too worried about using up all my MP because I can just use those flower tabs and get it all back. Plus one. Incidentally, this is also a pretty good stage for farming if you need it. Because uh, these bob bombs respawn. I think you just have to leave the room and they'll come back. <laughs> 